So we're in a bilateral stance, okay? Just everything's parallel, everything's tidy, everything's clear cut. And then with the arms, just proceed to slowly do our little rotational work thoracic. So my palm in front is down, my palm behind is up. I'm nailing that core, soft bent knees, and then progressively trying to keep the pelvis level. I don't want to see any hip rotation, I want to see thoracic rotation. And then bit by bit, start to go a little bit quicker. And just look at the camera, I don't know, look at a mirror if you've got one, and just keep the hips still, keep the tummy braced. We'll just get some slings, get some rotation available here. It's incredibly tough oh, on the midsection, on the core, if we hold all those lines together. Right, let's try that with a, with a stepping action now. So if you go with your right leg in front, left leg behind, the usual scenario, and this, this stance is going to look kind of quite common by the end of, of, of this morning. Right, right leg in front, so the arms are going to turn to the right there. Just check, pause there. Your right hand is behind you or to the side, up, your left hand is in front, down. Right, you're going to step the left foot forward, switch the hands, pause. Step back, pause. And just do it slow first, building up that bit of momentum. Again, just how, 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 does, it, how does it look to you? Yeah, it wants to be tense. I want tension in the middle. And then bit by bit, start with the arms, swing, stop. Start with the arms, swing, stop. The arms have got to move first, followed by the step, right? Pause. Deep core. Always on that heel drag with the front leg. No matter which foot is in front, step and pull the heel back. So you've got to nail the hips. Keep the elevation, keep that lift, keep the shoulders up. And then start just to bash it out left and right. Five or six each way. That's all we need to do. I'm going to lay it off already. Doesn't board well with what the plan is. Okay, left leg in front. So I'm here. And then just step in that right. Pause it. Right leg back. Pause. Again, I've got the heel drag. Got the tension in the middle. Got the ribs lifted. Arms first. And then you. Yeah, and if you're noticing things in the mirror, like the hips are wobbling, there's no tension there, just trying to bring a little bit more focus. <sighs> Breathe in. Deco, 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 one more. Oh, incredibly tough. Right, do we start now? Yeah, let's start now. Let's start, let's go. Right, so, one weight. One weight, he says. Right, and we're gonna keep this chopping move going. So maybe have a, have a heavier option there available if you need it. Right, left leg in front, right leg behind. And we're gonna do a kind of a wood chop coming off the right shoulder. So bring the weight up on your right shoulder. And I was thinking of like Saturn's ring with this one, right? We're gonna come, come diagonally out. It's gonna loop round as it comes round to that left hip. You're going to sit back here, yeah? Bum comes back, hip comes kind of diagonally up and back, but that shin does not move. There's the midpoint, yeah? And then extend the leg, bring it back up to the top. Again, just check when you're, when you're at the top, that left leg is not straight like this, not over the top. You are here, yeah? So side view. There. Sit the hip back. See how long I'm coming, yeah? Like a wood chop. There, and then boom, pause there. Out and round, out, there. Off the heel. This is very much a glute and hamstring exposer. Because as we get to here, there's the weight on my left heel. I'm gonna drive my left heel at the front, extend the hip, bring it back. There, and bit by bit, just get a little bit more dynamic with this work. There, and then drive back up, pause. There. Pause. How's that left glute feel? We're working it. Pause. Okay. And I, I, I love static work to a degree to build up momentum and, and build up that, um, that exercise repertoire. But I'm going to do this with a step now, right? So all fair and well, just doing it from here to here. But I want us to move. So if you bring it to your your left hip, where you kind of the midpoint was. But as you bring it back to your right shoulder, I want to step the left leg back. So we go from here. 
There. Pause there. Step forward with the left leg. Chop. Use all the same things happening. Step back. Push. So we can step in. Open back off that left heel there. Up. Back. Step. Pause there. And then just pause at that point. Can we all get that point there? Right leg in front. Weight on your right shoulder. Pause. Now you see the golfers when we're in the, in the kind of mid part of their swing or the follow through from their swing. So with that right leg in front, I'm going to keep real detail and core activation and just lift and rotate your ribs towards the right. Don't go kind of end range, but go towards it. There, I want you to feel a nice stretch running from your right um, little pinky finger to your left toes. Right, so from down there, kind of comes spiraling right across the body here, like a golfer there. That's our start position. Okay, step the left foot forward, do the wood shot. Chop off the left heel, pause here, spiral up and round like a corkscrew. Up and round, top right, top right, top right, top right. Aim for that stretch across your left side. Step the left foot forward, chop, step back, pause, then crank it up. Click, 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 click. More like one of those fun ground, ground rides, just uh, taking that uh, corkscrew to the top, cranking it up, cranking it up. Top left, top left, shoulders up, rib cage up, everything's up. Then you let it go as you chop. Boom, back. We've got to create that tension, that extension, that spiral, that um, elongation up across that left side. It would be like something happened across here. Yeah? Step chop, step back, elevate. Hope that's making sense. Really good decompression exercise, right? So if you suffer from back pain and you feel your joints sometimes feel a bit stiff, that's absolutely awesome for it. Right, have we done enough there? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not necessarily counting reps, I'm just looking at the form this morning. Right, let's try a little bit on the other side. So right leg in front now, left shoulder. So we're not stepping with it. We're just gonna potentiate that glute and that hip of that right leg. So again, check the position, check your stand with the knee forward, and at the same time, check your stand with the knee back. The right shin is vertical, use the camera. And then very slowly bring it off the left shoulder. It loops around to the right, goes past your right hip, Sit your hip back there, pause there. Did your knee move? Almost like your knee's just touching like a, a, a wall all the way through it. It does not move away. It does not touch it, it does not move away from it. There, off the heel. Ah, again, ask yourself, are we feeling the glutes work? And then maybe get a little bit more dynamic, maybe not. If you like going slow with this work, go slow, that's totally cool. There, deep core, elevate, okay? Right, bring the right leg in front, the left leg in front, sorry. Let's start with that golfer pull. So I'm going to start cranked up. Go from here, deep core, rotate your ribs kind of counterclockwise up. Remember those old um, playground right, uh, those, those um, slides, those little curly whirly slides. Don't think I'm kind of been moving up slowly up the slide. Yeah, deep core. We get that stretch across that right anterior line here. Go from your left pinky toe to your core, right pinky toe to your, your left finger. Step the right foot forward, chop. Step the right foot back, pause, crank it up. Like a balloon pumped up. See how much lift we can get there. Pause. We need tension, guys, in our bodies. We need a whole bunch of tension in the right places. I can always get that little bit more lift. See ya. Uh, sorry, I've been running around here. I'm just looking at that camera and trying to keep that tension. Watching my hips not move, watching my knees not fall apart. Uh, slings, 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 slings. Launch the weight off the shoulder. Step chop. Boom. So again, that weight can almost moves first. Then the step. Then the chop. Uh, two more. Tension in the middle. Uh, up and left. I'm cooked. Well done. Didn't need a heavy weight for that. 10 was enough. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm feeling a little bit less squashed now. More 10 to 10 second five, if that's a word. It is now. Right. Okay. I'm just going to bring the heart rate up a little bit now, right? We've got plenty of time, so I like coaching you through the rooms. I know some of you will be more familiar than others, but let's just break it down. Same stance. I said that's going to be a theme. This time, maybe a little bit 
a little bit wider of the back foot and a tad longer. Okay, so we're not going in the usual knees parallel or all of that, a little bit like that. And then from there, kind of just let you're going to box. So just a little bounce in the hips here. Obviously, if you were going to box then your right leg, but you would go with the left, right? Because that's going to generate more power because I can use that sling rotation here. Okay. And then from there, we're going to switch the staff. We're going to take a little step to the left and switch here. So you're going to bring the right foot kind of behind and back, and the left foot's going to go in front. So we're going to go from here with that little dink, little, little hinge of the hips, and then take a little one, two step there and pause. Again, check the knee here. Because what I like to think is once you've stepped that leg, there's a wall there, and you're pushing into the wall with that front leg. So even just standing there, imagine just pushing into an immovable force to the left there. Sink into it, drive off the left heel. One, two on the right, pause. Again, look at that valgus. If we're here every time, that's going to not really serve you. That's where we need to be. Little dink in the hips, off the heel. One, two. See how the foot lands? See when it lands, off the heel. So I'm kind of landing on my front toes, then the heel, then the back toes land. So it's kind of toes, heel, toes. Toes, heel, toes. Yeah? Leg pushing in that wall. Toes, heel, toes. Deep core. Now with the arms, I'm going to just start to let my arms kind of almost throw. Like we're going to throw something. We're going to have a weight in the wall. So almost like we're going to throw the weight to the side. You're going to follow it there. Again, I know there's a lot to think about. Throw first, then move, right? Don't just jump and let your arms flop. The move is secondary. There. There, yeah? So from hip to hip, circle it round. Let's try that with a weight. Or a med ball is a nice one to do. Just simple stuff. It's a lateral step, a lateral jump, a lateral hop, skip, whatever you want to call it. But just keep the detail in the core. So let's start with this. Off the hip. Deep core. Again, I'm going to lift the weight kind of around like that. Well, the weight is weight's probably about here before I start to move. There. Again, press it in that wall. Look at the camera. And then, and if and when, if you want to go more dynamic with it, then go for it. And as that stream got a little bit bigger, we're jumping across. Yes, it has. Can we go a little bit more jumpity jump without losing that form? Deep call. And you're punching off the heel to move. Yeah, so we've got a load and then we've got an unload there. Load it up, unload it there. Give me a couple more. Unless, like me, you feel a little bit frazzled and you know your limits. Whew. Okay. Um, let's try this. Let's try this with, with, without the back foot on the floor now. Okay, so even more challenge. Balance in particular. So if you start with the right leg in front, get position. And then from that position, just bring the back foot off the floor and pause. All right, so I'm just going to alternate the jump front leg. Up there. Yeah, deep core. Weight throw. There. And you know what? The floor's only there. So if you need to, you can just have a little baby kind of reassurance touchdown. <sighs> And again, it's key we kind of stand and then turn the leg out a little bit. So we're not getting that valgus. If the back foot off the floor is too much, then bring it back. Ultimately, you get a little bit of momentum with this, a little bit of work. Hip and glute. Hip and glute. Floats. Floats. Let's keep it going. Let's make some work of this. Uh, move the weight first, then you move. Uh, oh. That's enough of that. It's good cardio. Oh. Right. We're on shoulder lunge. Where are we at next? Okay, double grip. Okay, okay, right. So we're going to bring a bit of a lunge into this one now. Yeah, I said the L word. All right. Quarter to ten. Um, Weight-wise, yeah, choose your weapons. Right. I want you to start as deep as you can. So there's a little bit of element of that kind of ball for swing we had earlier. Just a little bit. But we're going to, do, we're going to need to take several steps forward, or one or two. Whatever room you've got to move forward, that's what I want you to utilize. So, so back it up as best you can. Stand with the whip on your
on your right shoulder, right? And then let's sink into that lunge. It goes deep as you feel comfortable this morning. Yeah, you know your body. So if you can rock that deep position now, that's awesome, right? So what I'm going to do from here, I want to bring the weight to the right hip. Yeah, deep cough. And we're going to come up from the lunge. We're going to step the left foot forward and we're going to swing that weight directly up now to here. Yeah, again, achieve that little rotation thing we did earlier. Go for pause. Step the right foot forward, lunge. Step the left foot forward, up and rotate. Yeah? If you're running out of room like me, I can reverse it. So step back, lunge, step back, rotate. Lunge, ah, rotate. Yeah? Run out of room going back, bring it forward. Or just alternate forward and back step. So we're in extension here severely, and we're in a deep uh, lunge there. Uh, how are we getting on? Yeah? Can we have a little breather on that? Unless you're just getting going. I wouldn't mind doubling up this set. This is quite severe. I wouldn't suggest you do many reps of that. And if you feel like you're doing lots of reps, I don't know. It can't be a good thing in my opinion, right? Let's try that on the other side. Go off the left hip, left leg in front, start from the ground up, keep coming down, set a leg. Deep core, left leg in front, the weight is on my left pocket. I'm going to step forward with the right leg. Once I've come up from the lunge, I'm going to lunge up first, step the right foot forward, swing, bang, pause, rotate, elevate, stretch across that left side. Step the left foot forward, chuck. Whoo! I'm going to run out of room, so come backwards. Here. There. Here. We're we getting on. Ah, one more. Well, that glute falls off. Okay, little time out. Rest, I'm going to repeat that again, okay? So try and challenge the depth you were lunging. Try and challenge the, the kind of the, the tempo of those slings. We can kind of operate quicker, but as long as it's not upsetting the, the alignment, okay? You know you know how we roll. You know you know your bodies. You know your hip lock. Right. Okay, ready for this? Start with the right hand in front. Off the hip. Up we go. Top left. Bottom right. Top left. Bottom right. Run out room. Go back. Still focus on that big rotation spiral on the top. Watch the alignment of the knees. Tidy up. Maybe sneak one more round in on this if we can. Without rushing it, I'm done. Done on that side. Yikes. Hey, sweat towel. We'll have a breather. Switch to the other leg. Cool. Yeah, body usually feels all right on a Monday and Tuesday. Let's see how it feels in a few weeks on a Thursday, Friday. To finish. <laughs> all good. Okay, left hip, tension in the middle, sink it down, left hip, off the left heel, come up, right shoulder, pause, rotate, elevate, spiral, step chop, up, back. Okay, we're not doing those long lunges, I don't want anyone doing all any of this crap. We're there, yeah? We're there. Glutes. Glute being the prime operator on this. Deep core. Deep core to finish off these reps. Walking one step. With rotation. Go. Finish off your reps. Have a little breather. Right. If we've got him. Um, yeah, we'll do the single way. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Right. Okay. Whoop. Just checking my notes. It's all very obscure writing when I wrote this out. I understood it at the time, but now I'm like, what the heck? How complicated does that sound? Right. Right, swing. We do. Single arm swing. Just the very basic kettlebell stuff. Bilateral stance. Swing. Just to the rack. Just kind of warm up that. That hinge part here. 
Again, just shape the knees, or the shins. Don't really want to come forward or back. Stay the same. Use the hips to come back. Nice and tense in the middle when you bring that kettlebell back to the top here. But just to let your body react as the way it passes through, yeah? So we throw first, and then you've got that quite quick kind of hinge pattern. Try a few on the left. Again, posture from the start. We're loaded up, we're ready. You know what's going on. Got a nice uh, bit of a hamstring stretch there. And as you bring the weight back to the rack hole, just watch that there's no loose kind of after shock, like a little sloppiness. As soon as it comes back, there, nice and strong. Swing, pause. Boom. Yeah? Right, we got space overhead. Okay, so adjust yourself when you're breaking any lights. What I want you to do, new, new now, is go from that swing, but I want you to potentially bring the arms right overhead. Okay, so from that posture, swing, right up. Yeah? Right vertical stance. Yeah, now we've got a lot more ground to cover for it to swing down. Here, reach. And as you reach it, can we kind of bring the other hand on top so we're standing like a little triangle arms there? Hinge there. Boop, little tap. Little high five to the kettlebell. Aim for thoracic extension here. Keep a little bit of 12 on so we're not starting to go into an anterior, an anterior shift when I've got a cold front of your back. Right, that would be too easy just to do that. We're gonna do that with a little, a little baby jump forward. Okay, and the jump could be just as, as little as there. Yeah? So you can try it without the weight. So you can just dial it in. So it's gonna be that little swing. As the weight's coming up, weight's getting out here. I'm gonna follow that momentum with a little baby jump. Tap, pause, hinge, pause. Hinge, pause, and if we can get that, we can also go back, back, and back, okay? You don't necessarily have to have a weight with this one. If that's complicated enough for you guys, just do it without the weight. And if you flare, the ceiling's too high, you can bring it to a rack, but you can just go here and a little rack, yeah? I like the idea of arms overhead. Really invade that extension. Can we try that out? So double stance, hinge, pause. Timing. So my feet kiss the ground as my hands high five. Yeah? If you don't have a reverse, just walk it back, repeat it. Decor. One. Two. See how the way it pulls you up? There. Did another jump. Let me bring it back. I'm uh, reaching here. Vertical stance, right? Whoop. Uh, Yeah? Finish off your reps. Don't let somebody stop, because I stop. If you've got more, cool. If not, you stop earlier. You know that. Right. 20 minutes, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if we didn't do the my fast release, we just did this from the start. Too much. Unless you're an athlete, I guess. Right. Let's try it on the other side, right? So let's just do a few swings like we did. And just bring it up a bit. Just a little high five. It might feel totally different on the other side. Okay. No doubt some of you are already starting jumping now. So I'm going to do the same. Just a little baby jump. These trainers feel so awesome for doing this kind of work. It's so much great, it's crazy. Deep call. Ooh. Rewind it back one more time. I don't just want to practice it for so long and then not get much actual work out of it. Yeah, when the timing's right and your feet just land as a way it's flat, it feels nice. Okay, little. Heart rate recover. What we got next? What we got next? Oh, 
Okay, right. Another lunchy one. Yay! Shower's going to be so well deserved. Right, we'll break down the moves. There's actually three moves with this. They are going to be the most, the most complicated one we've got, but we'll see how we get on with it. Right. When you bring your, your end, left leg in front, right leg behind. And we're now, we're counting everything so far. We've operated here or we've operated there. And we go single arm, but you're going to bring it just upside that left leg. So you're going to stand here with the weight in your right hand, right leg back, right here lifted. You're going to throw the weight again in that little satin ring. It's going to come around the left leg like this, and then bring it back. <sighs> bring it back. And maybe just practice holding that little swing position. So maybe once you get here, just kind of just go there a few times. Are we getting the glute and the hip? Are we looking at your left hand um, uh, shin vertical there? Yeah? Very much a glute. Work there. And then rack to rack. Okay. That's the first bit. However, when you bring it back to the rack, you're going to switch this dance and you're going to lunge. So it looks like this. Okay, watch. There. There. Okay. We try that. So let's start with the right leg in front. Let me just do the lunge. You're going to step left, jump, step right, left goes back, lunge. Yeah? Reset. Step one, two. Again, we've got that same kind of thing going on here, thing going on there. Yeah? Lateral step. We're now in that lateral chop and we're going to lunge. So there, across the leg, one, two, lunge. Yeah? Keep going with that. If you have to reset it each time, like I would like to do, just to kind of make sure I'm in a good position first, that's totally cool. One, two, lateral chop. One, two, lunge. Okay? One more time. And I'm going to add the third thing to that. There. There. Okay. Third thing to that. As we get to here, we don't go on back on another rep. We step back and we push the weight overhead. So from here, stepping the left leg back, or the right leg back, sorry. Push. There. Yeah? Can we try that whole in its entirety? So, left leg step, lateral chop, go one, two here, pause, you're coming up and back, push the arm overhead. There, pause there, with balance. You've got the left leg in front, the right leg behind, big full extension, big stretch down that side. Now let's bring it back. So, forward step, lunge, lateral step, chop, one, two, three. Yeah? One, two, there, one, two, three. Oh, that's not too technical, I really do. If you need to kind of after the press, go back to the start, three moves. One, two, up and back. Boom, three, yeah? And if you've got the inclination to continue with that and reverse, go for it. Anyone not, I'm gonna keep it simple, just follow me on this. So left, right, swing, right, left, sink, off the right heel, up and back, push, deep core, bing, pause, reset, do a couple more. If you're doing it both ways, be mindful not to overcook it. There, there, huh. a little bit harder now, right? So if you've got a couple more, go for it. If your bottom's gone, please stop. I'm gonna do one more. There, there. Bang. It's fine, it's getting incredibly hard to move up from the ground, keeping and adhering to all the good form. Right, I do hope that made sense. It's quite a technical one. I know it's tougher online and doing this at the studio, I get that. But I'm, 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 I'm keen on progressing and if we can do that again, and again, two or three weeks back to back, it'll all gel. Because I want to expand on from that, believe it or not. I want to add another three elements to that. The beauty of the kettlebell or the dumbbell, you can you do so much with it. Okay, let's try that on the other side. So let's break it down as soon as we did before. Right leg in front, left leg behind. Again, pause there. We just try that lateral swing just here, back to rack. Again, we might be starting to get a little bit tired now, so it might not be as, as airtight. Again, as that weight comes round, you're sitting that hip back. That hip kind of comes this way. Yeah, see my hip? Diagonally back and down without that movement either way. We get that through that swing 
Oh, the glutes just streaming. Off that right heel. There. Back. Let's hold that position. Just do a few swings. Front and back. Deep core. Why oh, you don't take out your kneecap as well, please? Oh, Jesus! You know why we're at least at the start? Because of times like this. Right. Let's try that little lateral step. Moving into that lunge now with the right leg in front. Yeah, left leg in front, sorry. So right leg in front, here, here. Body tensions. Off the shot. Step, pause there. Sink. Bring it back. Let's not do the step and press here. I want to get three or four of these in first and just add on. There we go. There. There. Yeah? It's nice to actually hit the lunge from a, from a lateral movement rather than everything forwards, forwards lunging. Yeah? Our body's at 360 degrees for get so we can really expand on that, play on that move. Oh, one more, one more. This. I'm not eating anything yet. Right. On the, on the way up from there, we can pop them back. Remember, with the arm pressing here. So I'm a little bit lightheaded there. I'm just going to have a moment. I'm trying to do this on an empty tummy. Okay. Ready? Whole play, whole thing. Let's try it again. Chop. Step, step, sink. Off the left heel, push up and back and press. Bang, pause there. Look at the legs. Look at the alignment. There's the arm overhead. Yeah? Bring it back. If you want to bring it back, we go here, rewind it into another. Yeah? Well, I'm going to work. I'm going to pause there. Go back to the start. For those of you that want the lighter level, I'm going to tend to that. So one, two, three. Yeah? Really punching that heel kind of down in the ground as you pull your leg back. It's tough. You're getting right down the ground on them lunges. It's a tough ask. Here. There. Two. Three more, maybe. Maybe some of you have got the kettle on already. I don't know. Two more. Now, shoulders getting some serious work on that push now. Uh, less is good though, if you don't want to fill in this last one, don't do it. Oh. Yeah, well done. Well done. Not over yet, but well done. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. Let, let's, let's do some rotational work now, some, some stepping work. Yeah? More basic than everything we've done so far. It needs a little bit of explaining. So you've got standing posture. Oh. Try and get everything lifted. Try and get everything tight in the middle. And then from here, look down at the left foot. Two ways you can do this, okay? First way, very simple, is you're gonna pivot on the heel. You're gonna turn the left foot out to 90 degrees, so it's facing to your left foot. Yeah? Bring it back. So that's level one. Level two, we can actually lift the foot off the floor, get more external rotation from the hip, and step. Yeah, either way is fine. So there, step. And notice as I step with that foot, as I rotate, the rest of my body's inclined to rotate too, which is totally cool, totally cool. The reason we're doing this, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this, and then you're gonna rotate, and you're gonna step with the right leg. Yeah, so left foot pivots to, let's look, imagine you've got the clock face in front, the left foot's gonna turn to nine o'clock, there, you're going to turn your body and you're going to step towards your nine o'clock. Yeah? And what was I going to say? What was I going to say? There's something important. Um, yeah, well, obviously, we're going to do this with the, with the weight. So, with the arm swinging, get nice and tight in the middle. So, the right arm swinging. As your right arm gets to your three o'clock, which is there, the moment that arm is lifting up, you are externally rotating that head to here. Boom, that's ready. As the arm's coming back, you're going to slowly pull it. You're going to slowly pull it there to here. So it's very much critical how it's tied, guys, okay? If you get one bit slightly ahead of the other, it won't feel as comfortable. So getting a little bit more dynamic. So there. So delay, delay your body's um, 
turning to step until the arm is kind of like there, following. Okay? Obviously, the reason we I spend so much time watching you this external rotation in the hip is because if we don't turn that, and you try it without turning that, I don't know how you're going to move that without crunching in the knee or hurting yourself to do that. Yes, yeah, so we've got to kind of almost set that up ready for, for that. Right, let's try it with a whip. I'm going, to, I'm going to regress a little bit on this because I've done so much swinging work with lit. Don't want to overdo it. So you choose your adventure of the weight, solid posture, a little pendulum, tick tock, tick tock. As it gets to your nine o'clock, or your three o'clock with that right arm, turn, step. Like I said, delay this step until the arm is kind of pulling you there. Yeah? And it's all about keeping that tensegrity across the chest, across the core wall. Okay? We we'll spice it up a bit. Either increase the weight, we can add another drop lunge onto that. Okay? If your legs are like, I've done lunging, then don't do it. Just continue with this one. If you want to add that lunge, we go here and drop. Bring it back, pause, reset. Again, when we're not with the last lunge, we've done side on. This one actually we are rotating, so it's more of a true rotation step. Very functional. Okay? Very functional. There. Uh, uh, yeah? Well, oh, there's one for you. <laughs> Sorry, just making up as you go along. Could we get that arm to swing directly overhead? Yeah? So instead of pausing here as we do the step, or the lunge, you can do the standing and you can do lunging. There. Yeah, nice long line. Or you could do that with a step, or you can mix it up. One step, one lunge, but either way, the arm might overhead. Yeah? Spend enough time on that one? I think so. Let's do the other side. Right. Left arm. Let's just go straight with the weight. We kind of get the idea with this. Let's just do a few steps first. Maybe just a few of the legs turning first here. And maybe you don't want to just pin, pivot from the heel. You might just want to actually step the foot. Step the foot. Let's follow this up. Pause. And if you pause, you're almost instantaneously getting that heel drag of the left foot. You're not stepping too long. We're not losing that edge here. There. Step back, reset. Tension in the middle. Again, how are you looking when you're swinging this here? Can we be really pulled in here? Really elevate through the rib cage, the shoulders, everything's lifted up. Here. Step. Yeah? Add the lunge on if you wish. Continue to step if you don't. I feel obliged to because I did the other side. Short lunge step, yeah? Oosh. There. That's 90 degree twist with deep core. There. Can we get that arm going up? If that doesn't serve you, don't go with the arm big swing. There. Oh. Follow the weight. Timing's essential. Yeah? Nice stretch on those lats, hence why we did some lat release at the start. A couple more. Whoa! Feels nice on my left side, on my arm, for whatever reason. It feels more tensioned and there. Uh, done on that. Right. I reckon last one. Um, I'm in two minds. Whether they do something on our backs or we do something more for our core. You know what? Let's do something more for our core. The reason being, this is body fit. It's not a lift. There's a bit of weight bearing, I won't lie to you. So you can stick to the knees if you don't want to hover the knees. But bring yourself down the floor, please. Can we do some back rolls? Oh, yeah. So we've been hitting those planks for some time now. And although it's awesome and it really does generate another you know, kneeling plank, there's going to be some good. Short shoulder, upper back work here. Well, I like to apply some movement with it. So if you want to go into a quadruped, just spend a couple of minutes on this before you run out of time. So quadruped, soft joints, the usual cues I want you to work and look at. Right. 
Elbows turned ever so slightly towards each other with a little bit of retraction in the shoulder blades. Just maybe look at the camera, try and get that back as, as in alignment as, as possible for you personally. Definitely feel you. I see my natural curve in my mid back is there, it's quite flexed. So I've got to really try and extend thoracically and sink into it. Right, keep the knees on the floor first, everyone. Right hand and left leg just moves forward about two or three inches. Place on the floor, pause. Now go the left arm and the right leg. But do it intuitively, do it with control. And I want you to feel as you're lifting your right hand away, so you've got to stabilize your left shoulder as I move here. And the same as I move my left arm forward, I want you to feel the energy of the work in your upper back, in particular on one side of your shoulder complex. Right? If you run out of room, it's nice to take this backwards. Again, keep checking posture, because as I'm talking now, I guarantee you'll be starting to flex, you're losing attention. Little, little baby steps back. Little baby, deep core, deep core. Stealth like. Stealth like, stealth like, stealth like. This is extremely hard to move with knees on the floor. Right? Tray of drinks on your back. Do not spill any. Do not spill any drinks. Okay. Try that one more time. If you want more of a challenge, and it is more of a challenge, it's tenfold. We're going to stabilize here. We're going to hop the knees off the floor. Pause there. Keep the retraction. Keep all the little tight parts. Lift in place. Pause. Don't make it jagged. Make it smooth. Lift. Place. Oh, it's tough. Keep the shoulder blade organized. And let's rewind that one more time if we can. Go knees if you need to. Keep it smooth and controlled. Done. Oh, wow. That'll give you a good, strong, serrated scapula, all those muscles around that area. 